Next news is out of Australia. Facebook video calling Islamic culture barbaric and primitive was shared by federal CLP candidate Jen Jacinta Price. Um, a video featuring prov a provocative Syrian-American commentator describing Islamic culture as barbaric and primitive was shared by um, Lingari Price on her personal Facebook page. She is a candidate for the country liberal party clp the candidate shared the video on her facebook account in 2014 but did not comment on it or endorse it the post still appears publicly on her personal facebook profile in the video dr sultan compares how jews and muslims dealt with adversity saying only the muslims defended their beliefs by burning down churches killing people and destroying embassies the australian national imams council has condemned the video but on the other hand they also said that this woman probably didn't realize what it was that she was sharing. They've given her the benefit of the doubt. What's going on here is... There's nothing uh, wrong with what she's saying, though. Is what's that? No, there's nothing wrong with what she's saying. Sorry, continue. That's okay. Um, you know, and, and a lot of people can have whatever view they want. But when you're a politician, you have to be outrageously careful about what you're sharing on your your you know, public profiles. And that's what she did. So she took this video that is saying these things, which you and I would completely agree with this person, but we're also not politicians. Um, and so people were upset. But the, the, the Muslim council in Australia was actually defending her, saying that she probably didn't realize what it was that she was sharing. Um, and I think that just people in general are getting all up in arms right now as they're going through the past of politicians. That's a stupid defense. The defense is no, Islam is a culture. It is a barbaric culture. It is primitive. And there's nothing wrong with saying that. Um, the video that she shared um, is of, what's the doc, What's the person's name? It's actually an Arab uh, prof, uh, doctor, I think. It's actually, she's a famous... Dr. Sultan. Let me actually play the video. Uh, wait, hold on. Um, I'm not going to play the audio because um, it's in Arabic. So it's an Arab American psychologist, Wafa Sultan. Yes. And she, this is an old video again from, yeah, it says from 2006. And I remember when this video came out for, for a lot of ex Muslim atheists, this was such a, she turned into a hero of us because she was saying it just like right open. I mean, again, anybody that says that this politician is being a bigot, this, the person that is saying these things, that video is, that is being shared is coming from an Arab psychologist. So how is that even bigotry, right? Um, and I'm just going to read the subtitle. He says, the clash we are witnessing around the world. This is what she said. Is, is not a clash of religions. Or it is a, is a crash or a crash of civilizations. I don't agree with that. It's a clash between two opposites, between two eras. Oh, well, that makes it the clash of religions. Um, it, it's a clash. Uh, it's it is a clash between a mentality that belongs to the Middle Ages and another mentality that belongs to the twenty first century. I don't agree with her that she says it's not a clash between religion because technically the religion is what makes it makes the Middle Ages ideas come into the twenty first century. Then she continues saying it's a clash between civilization and backwardness, right? Between the civilized and the primitive, you said that between barbarity and rationality. It's a long video. I'm not going to go on. But anyways, she says a lot of things against Islam. I don't. If she said that um, only Muslims burn down churches, that's not true. Actually, Christians burn down a whole bunch of sh stuff. But the part that she says that Islam is a barbaric, you know, religion. Um, I agree with that part, and there's nothing wrong with staying at. And the fact that the fence that people are coming up with. So wait, this is on her personal page, right? Yes. Oh, let me go back. Yeah, this is on Price's personal page. She shared in 2014 with no further commentary. Wait, but the this is Natty Goldberg. Is this is this the right post? Yeah, I don't know. Um, are you sure? Are you sure it was the it was the post from that. The same video that I just played, right? From Wafa Sultan? This yeah. One? Okay, okay. All right. So, yeah, there's nothing wrong with saying that. Um, I mean, I thought Australia, we didn't we just, this, where is this? This is in, 
Where is this again? It's Australia, right? Mm -hmm. Did we have a news last week that showed that most Australians are understand the difference between Islam and, you know, well, people. to be fair, what specifically that news article was about was that they were accepting of migrants, however, distrusting of Islam. So not Muslims, but Islam. Um, right. So that to me makes it makes me think that then Australians on average understand the difference between saying shit, you know, shit about an ideology is different than generalizing an entire group of people. Right. And the fact that the video that she shared was actually from an Arab psychologist, to me, has to even highlight more that this is against not about any group of people, but against an ideology. So the fact that the defense that people are coming up with is not that, hey, what's, ro what's wrong with a politician saying Islam is a barbaric culture? There's nothing wrong with that. The defense that they're coming up with is that oh she didn't she had no clue what she was sharing which is actually an insult to her that's actually even worse like like she she didn't even check what she was sharing really that's the defense you're coming up with that's not a very that's even worse so how could she how could we trust her if she can't even be trusted with sh look checking what she's sharing um jason is saying so is christianity Jason, I agree that so is Christianity, but that's not fair to say every time we want to criticize Islam. Because, like, how often do, when we say shit about Christianity, people don't come and say, well, Islam is also barbaric. Yeah, no shit. It's only when we criticize Islam, somebody has to always come and like, well, Christianity is also barbaric. Yeah, we know, but we're talking about Islam right now. Um... And he's saying, well, it is, and Christianity is no better. Again, see, everybody has to clarify. Every, somebody has to always clarify that Christianity is also barbaric. You know, uh, the example I come up with is, uh, imagine if you go to a, a fundraiser for cancer, uh, and then somebody just jumps right in and says, like, hey, well, you guys, why don't you, why are you not fundraising? Why are you not talking about AIDS? You don't care about people that have AIDS? Like, yeah, we care about people that have AIDS, but this is for cancer research. We're talking about cancer right now. We don't we don't mean that AIDS is okay just because we have a cancer fundraiser. So I don't understand this demand to constantly bring up Christianity every time somebody's talking about Islam. Look, Freddie as well. Again, another comment. And Christians aren't spare me. Look what the hell? What the hell? Why is it that we don't get this comment when we criticize Christianity? Do you see that? When when people criticize Christianity, do you see comments people say, like, well, so is Islam? No. Only when we sh shit on Islam is we see this comment. Look, another one. Well, to be honest, Christian culture is no prize either. Holy shit, what the hell? It's just like, yeah, we know Christianity is shit as well, but why can't we sometimes just talk about Islam? Right. Uh, okay. Yeah, um, John Brown is saying, oh, that was a bad, um, oh, yeah, liberals in Australia are the same as conservative Republicans. You were saying Wafa Sofa is brilliant. Yes, she is. She, we, like, her, the, when that video came out, you have no idea how much that was, like, because we didn't, we, ne we haven't seen a video of, like, a, somebody from that community to become so aggressively outspoken on tv against islam like that was so empowering to a lot of ex-muslim atheists to see that from a yeah uh why won't you have wafa sultan in a live video well we tried i she's um does she speak english or does she speak arabic only but if she does i mean I, yeah you will that's a good idea i'm going to talk to ali about that a uh, is saying, I won't share my opinion on how average Australia feels about Islam and Muslims synonymously. It's disheartening and not what their research polls show. Uh, John Brand, I, I trust the research more than people's personal experiences. Because, again, people's personal experiences highlights the, the extremes mostly, right? So I think research data might be more, even though research data sometimes gets it wrong as well, it's usually more reliable than personal experiences. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening.
let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.